Hello everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Adobe Premiere Elements 2021 in the first of our eight part series we're calling Basic Training with Adobe Premiere Elements. We want to show you how to start up a program, how to start up a project, how to add media to it, how to edit on the timeline, how to add titles, effects, and transitions, and then ultimately how to output your movie in basic broad strokes here. Whenever you launch Premiere Elements or Photoshop Elements for that matter, you launch into the hub or the splash screen here. It's from here we can get to, of course, our three different programs, the Video Editor, Premiere Elements, the Photo Editor, Photoshop Elements, or the Organizer, a media file management tool that is bundled with these two programs. There's some nice features here on the hub, including some helps and some inspiration along the top here information on how to do some basic or more advanced tasks with the program. Along the top, there's a search box. If you want to search for a specific task, you want to know how to add, for instance, titles, you want to know how to add music, you can just type it in there in plain English or type in some keywords and the program will automatically link you to a help file that'll show you how to do that task. Down in the lower left hand corner, you'll see some auto creations. If you click on view all, you see a wider selection of auto creations. These are automatically generated. I'm going to click on home here. These are automatically generated by the program as it searches your hard drive, as it finds media files, it sort of creates these works in progress. And if you click on open, it will automatically open the photo editor or the video editor. So you can continue to edit these little media files. But let's open up Premiere Elements by clicking on the video editor button. And by default, you launch into the Quick View workspace. There are actually two editing workspaces. There's a Quick workspace, which we're going to work in in this particular tutorial. And then there's the Expert workspace, which resembles more of a traditional video editor. And that's where we're going to spend most of our time throughout this tutorial series. But here in Quick View, you can quickly pull together a project with a single timeline, with an extra track for adding music, and some limited ability to add titles. Let's go ahead and grab some media here by clicking the Add Media button in the upper left hand corner. Select Files and Folders. We'll grab some clips here from our hard drive and click Open to add them to our project. Now in Quick View, any media you add to your project is immediately added to the timeline. When you're in expert view, as you'll see later in the course, your media is added to a project assets panel. And from there you can gather what media you want to add to your timeline and drag it in whatever order you want. Now here's our quick view timeline. As you can see, it's a simple single track. We can reorder any of these. I'm gonna click off them because they're all selected right now. We can reorder them very simply just by moving them around. You'll notice that the duration for each clip is listed under the clip. We can click on any clip here and select the option to Smart Trim. And here in the Smart Trim area, we can trim off from the beginning or end of that clip. And when I click Continue Editing here in the lower right hand corner, we go back in and now my, my clip is only one second long instead of 12 seconds long. These little placeholders between each clip are for adding transitions. We can go over here to the Transitions button on the toolbar and simply drag a transition between the clips. We'll talk more about transitions later in this course. You notice you've got a limited number of transitions view. You've also got a limited number of effects available to you. But once you get into expert view, you've got a huge number of transitions and a huge number of effects and a huge number of title templates available to you. Here in quick view, things are rather limited. You can add a title, but your title is attached to your clip. So if I click on a clip here and then click on the T that appears above that clip, I can add a title. With the text selected, of course, over on the right, we can make adjustments to it, change its font, color, whatever we'd like. We can even change its position here on our clip. Once we've added our title, we can select where in the clip the title appears. So we've got a 14 second long clip. If I click on the stopwatch here, I can set how long the title is duration wise and at what point it comes into the clip. 14 seconds in, 18 seconds, 20 seconds in. We can also, by clicking on these little down arrows to the right, we can add fades in or fades out or both. But you notice we can't move the title across more than one clip. It is attached to the clip. That's a limitation of quick view and expert view. Of course, we have a lot more options. To go over to expert view, we simply click on the tab here at the top, expert view. 
You notice whenever you leave quick view, there's a little warning. It says you can go up to expert view, probably hard to come back again because expert view is a little more advanced and some of the features you can use in expert view don't translate back into quick view. Now in part two, we're gonna add some media to our project here. Uh, we're gonna do some basic editing. We'll add our titles, our effects, and our transitions. Hope to see you in part two of our eight-part series, Basic Training for Adobe Premiere Elements.